What up, guys? It's Chris. Today, I wanted to make an updated version of uh, my Artnet to and from MA2 video. I uh, kind of wanted to update it to use the newest version of Resolume, or one of the newer versions of Resolume, Resolume 7. Um, and I wanted to show you guys how to do it uh, again in MA2 um, and also in MA3. So if we take a quick look here, we're in the MA2 side of things. Um, you can see that I have 10 LEDs patched in my layout view, and I have one dimmer that's uh, patched at fixture 901. So let's go take a look at our patch very quickly. Uh, we can see the 10 fixtures, uh, 10 LED fixtures. They're just regular RGB uh, fixtures, and they're patched at universe 1 starting at 1. The uh, dimmer that we're using to control Resolume is going to be patched at universe 3.1. Uh, so again, uh, I am using on PC, and I am hooked up to my trusty DMX node here to be able to uh, output parameters, even if it's just one dimmer from Artnet. And if you look in our network protocol window here, you can see, again, I've just set up a simple input and output. Um, the input is going to be everything coming in at universe 1, and the output, which is the dimmer we're using to control Resolume, that's going to be all uh, coming out universe 3. And the amount uh, is one for each because we're only sending one universe of data to each respective place. Um, so I did get a little bit lazy here. I patched uh, 100 fixtures in MA3, but only 10 uh, here in MA2. You can kind of see, you know, uh, the effect that we have going on. Um, this isn't anything pretty or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to show you um, what is possible here. The reason that I have uh, 901 at kind of a dimmer effect is when I'm figuring out the ArtNet settings between the two machines, it helps to kind of have um, that dimmer effect. So once I assign it over there, I can see, you know, the value layer going up and down as such. So here we are on the Resolume side of things. You can see I've just made kind of a little generic line um, piece of content without actually needing content. That's one of the cool things about Resolume 7 is that you can just use a bunch of effects and sources to make shit. So let's take a look at our DMX uh, inputs under the preferences. Uh, we're going to be looking at Lumaverse 2 here. You can see that I've set the universe to 3 because, again, we've patched fixture 901 in MA2 and MA3 at uh, universe 3.1, and that's going to be controlling the intensity of our layer. So if we look at our shortcuts really quick in Resolume, you can see how I mapped the uh, intensity of each uh, layer. Um, if we look, take a look at the bottom right, you can see that I set it on. Uh, it's set to Lumaverse 2 and Channel 1. You do not need to worry about the universe there, only the channel. The universe is set in the Preferences tab uh, for your Lumaverse uh, over there. If we look at our advanced output, you can see that I have all 100 LED fixtures patched um, in kind of the 10 by 10 grid fashion here. If we dig a little deeper and look at an actual fixture itself, you can see it's just one width by one height. It's one single three-channel um, LED, and we've uh, patched 100 of those. Uh, arrange them as such. You can make them bigger and smaller in the, comp in the composition, however you'd like, but I figured this was going to be fine for just the uh, demonstration that we have. Uh, so you can see how the content is kind of spread out over the fixtures. All right, and we're back in MA3. So um, you can see I have pretty much the same setup. I actually have the 100 PARs patched this time, and I have our fixture 901. Uh, if we take a quick look at the patch, uh, you can see. Oh, uh, so I originally patched these as RGBAs. Uh, did not mean to, and I changed it to RGB, so please excuse the name here. Um, but we can see that they're patched as just regular RGB um, in three-channel mode, and they're addressed as such all the way down to 100, and then we have our one dimmer fixture at uh, 3.1. So in MA3, if we go into our little uh, menu settings here, we'll go to DMX protocols, and again, I've just set up um, one input and one output with the same configuration that we had in MA2, and um, it works uh, pretty much the same way. So if we go out of this, Go back to our, oh, sorry, if we go out of this, and I just bring my fader up here on my on PC. 
we now see that uh, the Resolume data is coming into MA3 as such. Um, here you can see the setup. I have my MA2 and MA3 uh, on PC running on one machine. That's the rack-mounted computer. And then I have Resolume running on top of uh, that rack uh, on its own laptop on a razor blade. Um, I will go over the IP addresses of each machine very quickly. Um, the IP address of the MA machine is going to be um, 10.0.0.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. The Resolume machine's um, Artnet IP address is going to be 10.0.0.69, uh, and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. So I hope this was helpful to do this on the newest version of Resolume. Um, I know that some of the settings are a little different in preferences. There's not an output tab anymore. Um, I will say all the output side of Artnet is handled in the advanced output section now. And all the input side of the Artnet is only handled uh, in the preferences tabs. And uh, yeah, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.